All right, we're gonna see how this goes. I lost my camera mount from the light up above because I got all new lights in here. And we're also see how the lighting affects the camera because it's a hell of a lot brighter in here than it used to be. I got all new LED lighting in here. And let me tell you, it's bright. Um, been running into this a lot the last couple of weeks. I don't know what's going on. Sometimes it's when I replace the drum. Sometimes I haven't replaced the drum. But of course, every one of these always needs a band. And I've been running into situations where even the extra long pin is not long enough. Uh, this one is gonna be a little too long. And I want you to look right down there where the band comes up around the drum. This one's a little too loose. This is a two groove servo pin. And you can see how much movement we have there. That's, that's a bit much. The extra long is gonna uh, be way too long. A number three groove would probably work real well, but I don't have one. So we're gonna go over what you can do and what to do when even the longest one, even I have run into where the extra long pin was too short. I mean, way too short. So that means that the drum is way too small. And, but I have, like I said, I've been running into it even with not replacing the drum that is way too loose. And there's something going on with the bands uh, in the last few weeks. So there's a whole lot full of these bands out there that are not right. The material looks right, but something about the length is, is off. So. Uh, when I get the bench free over here, we're going to go over the pins and what you can do. Let's see if I can get this video finished. I ain't never going to get my bench cleared off, it doesn't look like. Okay, so here's our servo pins. And you can see the difference between them. This is a Sonex uh, extra long pin. And give you some references to the difference in the length here. You can see how much difference there is between the one groove and the extra long pin. And even if the extra long pin is not uh, enough, you can usually go to, and this also comes for the Sonax. You get the sealing rings on here in case your bore is worn. It'll help seal. And in case your piston is uh, worn, it'll seal up inside of that also. If your extra long pin is still too short, usually what you can do is go back to like a, a one groove and get you a tech pack fits all they make several different ones for a bunch of different transmissions not just 700s um, in some transmissions they don't have uh, pins that are adjustable but tech pack will make a a piece that you can put on there and it'll take up the slack now these used to fit really snug. They don't fit snug anymore. Used to have to beat them things on here. Uh, that's not the case anymore. These usually fit loose and you can just take them on and off. Uh, also another way that you can take up the slack is if you have a torch and, or even a welder. If you have a torch, you can braze more on the end. If you have a welder, you just weld more on the tip is make sure it's pretty uniform. You don't want it side loading on the band, causing stress on the band. You want this to be pretty even up out on the tip here. Same way if when you put this on here, it may be too long and you're gonna have to grind this down. You want this to be 
pretty uniform in the shape here and flat on the tip here. So that's uh, some ways that you can take up the slack on a servo pin when you got too much uh, clearance on your bands. Almost all bands are somewhere around about an eighth of an inch of travel is what you want. Some a little bit less, some a little bit more. Usually the really old transmissions is where you're going to have more. Most all your new stuff is going to be right around an eighth of an inch.